Today we're going to be looking at non-contact forces. And so when I was at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, we did a little experiment with some gold. Um, we would get some gold from Gringotts, maybe something like this, and then we would um, take our wands. Now I got kicked out of Hogwarts because while everybody else had these beautiful wands, I had a piece of pipe from Pete's Hardware. But let me warm it up because I haven't used it in a while. And let me warm it up and let me do one of the spells they taught us right away in Spells 101. And that is Akio. Akio. And notice the gold comes to the, to the wand. Akio. The other spell they used to teach us is Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa is where you actually make the gold foil hover. So I'm going to bring it down here. It's kind of hard to get it into the camera. But there's the gold foil hovering. Wingardium Leviosa. Right there, the gold foil is hovering above my wand. I'm kind of battling the, the air conditioner, which I can't quite get to turn off. But you can see the gold foil is hovering. Okay, now if I touch it, watch what happens. It goes back to the wand. So one of my students once told me, he said, gee, Mr. Ines, magic is science with a story. And so what I've shown you, um, Akio and Wingardium Leviosa, is really just science. Have you ever had stocks cling together in the dryer? That's because one sock has built up a charge. Because of friction, electrons have rubbed off on one of the socks and it's become charged and it sticks to another. Well, with this wand, if I rub it with this cloth, if I rub it with the cloth, I give it a charge. The friction is causing electrons to leave the wool and cling to the rod. Now, I brought in some paper dolls, and you can do this at home. Just cut out some paper dolls. I have some paper dolls here, and watch what happens. They start to break dance. Okay? They cling. So if I go like this, I can make the, the dolls dance. Okay? I can also take an aluminum can. I can rub my wand, and I can make the can move without touching it. Without touching it, I can make the can move. So um, a non-contact force is something like magnetism or static electricity that can cause something to move without actually touching it.